what is up guys welcome back to pokemon violet and today we are going to complete all the main quest things and uh meet and so far we're just going to do the team star there's director covell technically clive uh clive aka director covell sub b huh director clavel oh come on the name is clive remember no director clavel actually no it's time for me to bring a little Performance it to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. <laughs> Hi ya! I I kind of already knew, but it's kind of obvious when we went into the story. I do apolog apologize for diversing you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Yuva Academy, Mr. Clavel. I literally already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. No. Your, your acting was horrible. Your disguise was okay. Although, now I think about it, I did relent to keep up my youthful, uh, youthful on a few occasions. That must uh, have been what gave me away yeah acting like i wonder why i did i missed this so much regardless there is still one more astonishing truth i must reveal to you the true identity of plastopia is the big boss of team star was me all along that's impossible honest to goodness well you heard when you heard plastopia over the phone that was actually a pre-recorded voice I pulled it off using, or you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, I was. It was very clever. What? So, Master B, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there is just one thing left to do: face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Wait, did I heal my Pokemon? Oh no, I don't think I healed my Pokemon. I'm so toast if I didn't. Skeleturge, how much health do you have? I am Class of Pia's Team Star. With this battle, I finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Okay, ha! Uh, I, I, I'm not that high of a level, uh, though, so we're just gonna Torch Song. I'm like five levels off and I'm still faster than this guy. Yeah, get rid of you. Oh my. Ugh. Reflect. What does Reflect do? Physical moves. Oh, none of my moves are physical. So yeah, Shadow Ball, let's try that. Oh, it doesn't affect the opposing moon. Yawn, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna try and Torch Song. So I'm gonna Torch Song. You've never met an Orangaroo before. More damage. That's good. Yawn, why are you using Yawn twice? There goes Skeletor, she's now in a sleep. Uh, I think I'm just gonna bag, go to bag, awakening, and just use it on Skeletor. Cause one more hit should knock out a Rangaroo. So, I'm gonna try and get Dream Eater. Ha! Get ripped! So he was gonna hit me with a pretty devastating move. So now I'm gonna Torch Song once more. Once we have three Torch Songs, we should be good. Cause Critical hit. There we go. That's good. We're three minutes in, one Pokemon now. Okay, so this is kind of a nerve wracking. Oh, Ampharos got level 54. Uh, Reflect War off. Oh, I know this Pokemon. This is the Sinistee's evolution. Called it! I didn't know how to say its name, but I know what it is. So we're gonna just do this. Oh, it's Shadow Balling too. Great. Oh, one shot Kate. Oh, that's just mean. Oh, wait, we still have Lonix. Haha, <laughs> you ain't gonna get away that easily. Uh, third shot? Meow. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I need Skeletors to become, I need him to come back alive now. Oh, level 54 for, uh, okay, Stone Edge. I I'm gonna work on moves later and stuff right now. Houndoom. Switch. 
Garganacle. Hound Doom's a fire type, I know that for sure. Come on, Garganacle. Anyways, I don't think I should be getting one shot here. I can one shot the Hound Doom. I'm just gonna go back into my bag. And just for the sake of it, I just want to have my skeleton healed at least. Okay, I was about to say, if it doesn't, Dark Pulse is not gonna do much. See, Garganac is still up. Uh, we're gonna rock slide. 40 health. Well, Earthquake, not rock slide. Oh, you lucky dog. I really can't, I don't think I can get hit one more. Unless, somehow, some way, yeah, Garganacle's done. That means I'm gonna have to heal Garganacle up. Like, I can know, I know which Pokemon will last. Dark Pulse is not gonna be super effective with this bug type. I know that for sure. I can always just go with this. I'm just gonna go back with Lonix. Your opponents, we get a Lonix. Okay, last time we said that, I think we got our boat whooped. Uh, we're gonna go here. I want all the experience we can get. So Garganacle's gonna come back. <clears throat> There's no way this this guy can one-shot us. Flare Blitz. Oh, well, there Dab is. So he one-shot us. Great. I completely forgot he's a fire type. I should have thought of that. I think we're just gonna have to kind of... I know... I'll go with Ambrose. I'm just gonna go with Ambrose. Stop saying that to me. Okay, I'm just gonna Thunder Punch. Yeah, Flare Blitz. Miss? Miss. Let's go. Uh, thunder Punch. Mong. Hound Noon's done. Uh, what other Pokemon do you have? So, oh. A Palm Snow. A Palm Snow. That's good. <clears throat> I can one shot this thing. Well, I don't have my stats anymore because I got one shot. Well, I got destroyed. Because, uh. So my half. Technically half. Snow warning. It started to snow. Great. So we're gonna try and get rid of you really quick. Torch song. Okay, done. There we go. Special attack throws. Bomb is no painted. There we go. Anyways, Lonic should get some more XP. Like, this is gonna. Okay, little from the leftovers. That's good. Moongus. Oh, yeah, keep with the Skeleturge. There's no way a Moongus can one shot me, and that's a fact. So I want a bag. I know I'm using a lot of my revives. I just want to have a chance of getting all my Pokemon with some, uh... Okay, Lonix is now back from the dead. Hex, you have to know a move that's super effective. Uh, I don't know, uh, bag? Max Potion. Just so that we have full. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to be fast enough with... Like, if that Hex only does that much damage, we're maybe okay. Yeah, we're fine. We can take a couple of hits. And we're getting leftover heals, so that's good. I'm just going to Torch Song. There we go. Faster. Bye! Oh, he's so close. Snow warning isn't gonna. I don't think. Oh, come on! Wait. I don't know. Well, I kind of actually know. Okay, I I can't. I have to go with my gut here. I'm gonna say that he's gonna come up as fast as sleep. So he's gonna hex, isn't he? He's gonna hex. Oh yeah, I'm 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 out. The snow stopped. So the snow really did absolutely nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. We know the Amoongus is slower than my... Just go with Ampharos. 
Anyways, I think, uh, well, didn't the director of Bell take Quaxley? He had to have. I must have leveled it up, so. Hex. Not much. Uh, Thunder Punch. No one's done, so not very effective, yes, but effect score. No! Come on! What was, what's it with that? Oh, yeah, it's a uh, squib qua. Hey, the thing that I claustrophia could be held back, whatever. I need to. It's a water type. Yeah, quibble, qua quibble, or whatever that is. Awakening, like we are dealing with a lot of stuff about sleeping here. And I kind of just woke up, but I have like, this is gonna be the only, very well, it seems I shall have to trasalize my Pokemon. Do take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. Dangerous. Off the step. Ampharos is now awake. What is that? One more thing. He ain't messing around. I'm just saying. Ooh! Get static. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get static. Get ready for the big old fat. Discharge! Will we hit first? Please tell me that at least the static will actually work. For once. Usually it doesn't work, but come on, Ampharos. Discharge! We're first! And let's see if you can handle this! You can! Wow! We can't paralyze it! move! Take that, Cobell! Uh, yeah, let's finish you off with an overpowered Electro Ball! One, two, step, you're done! And bye! We won with so low health and everything. Take that! Oh, yeah. Uh huh. How strong you have grown. Thank you. I'll take that 13k happily. It was kind of obvious he was director of the bell, but I did not know he was class of video, kind of. But it kind of makes sense. Well now, Master B, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. Well, thank you. And here, once again, I must apologize. I'm not actually class of Fia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Class of Fia's true identity identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who that they may be. Penny. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Classophia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student uh, could hope to stand against them and win, so I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, I would have fallen to me to bring down Classophia, such as my resolution, resolve, but it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. Well, thank you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please defeat Claustrophia, take on the big boss of Team Star, and win. Yes, sir! Thank you. For the bottom of my heart, I leave this in your hands. Oh, no. Time. You there! What do you think you're doing? Oh, no. He's gonna get chewed. Um, Mrs. Time, I'm a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clive. I come here to investigate reports of an 
into it, battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less? What were you thinking? Ah, uh, no, I, if I could just explain, you see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. You ex your excuses reek worse than a skunky's behind? Ooh! A skunky's b b behind? Uh, remember the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark? I'm counting on you, Master B. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once, and I'll be reporting this to the chair chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious! No, I... Eh, anything but that, I implore you! Ha! Get wrecked. You got so chewed. Where the heck is this? Uh, wait, it's gotta be behind here, right? Can I just climb up the school? I can't. I was about to say, that would be so funny, just me just climbing up the school. Where do I go? It says to go in the school. Maybe I do go in. I may have to dedicate this episode only to this thing. But I think I may have a little more time, so maybe two things. I don't know. I think I may just dedicate it to this. So I'm supposed to be going to the school grounds. I'm supposed to be outside. Oh, is this it? Where do you want to go? You're going... Where do you want to go? Yeah, that's the only thing, so I really can't go anywhere. Yeah, so this place is kind of a on lockdown right now. Okay, I know I can't ride them right on. Okay, I gotta find out how to get back there. I completely forget. Well, well that's good, because I have no idea where to go. Like, that's the one thing I forget. How did the gamer get behind me? I hear that Team Star, those Team Star kids, those Team Star kids are really a little scary, don't you think? I hear that Team Star races around every night, riding on weird cars or of some kind. I don't know how to get behind. There's no way to get behind. How did this the difficult way? Oh! Oh, did I literally just find it? Bingo! Can I climb up this wall? Where the heck do I go? Thought there was a Pokemon, never mind. Pokeball there, but never mind. Oh, there was a Pokeball. Where the heck do I go? Excuse me. I need to figure out where the heck I go. I'm gonna go in there and try and find who I'm supposed to be hunting here. And her interested in good evening, Master B. What class would you like to take? Um. I'm so very confused. So like I'm unbearably confused. Cause it says I'm right on top of them. Wait. There's a magazine entitled or or Tidge. It's a September issue. Do you want to read it? There's this weird book sticking out, and none of them are. 
I'll, I'll read it. An article caught your eye. Uh, emerges of Paldea File 9, Iron Treads and Alien Weapon. Right in one area corner of Paldea, there has been reports of mysterious life forms. What the heck? What the heck do I do then? Where do I go? Could go check out the new one. Thingy. Just put it. Gallery of History. A history, do you want to read it? I guess. We made from the town to Stow on side, which sits tucked away in the mountains. This is nothing. Where the heck do I go? I think I'm gonna have to go to Director Quivell's. Wait. There could be a pattern here. Because there's one. There's more than magazine uh, October issue. Yeah, that's October. Maybe there's a pattern here I have to follow. Uh, Tarkadex Adventures. What is this? Tarkadex, the Fire Child Pokemon. I don't think. October? September? And I have to find another one. Here, which issue is this? There's a book. What the heck do I do? I think I'm just gonna go to the, director, the director's office and hope yeah, there's someone at the director's office, so I'm just gonna go there. That's my only really choice. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what to do. Uh, oh, why, hello, Master B. How's your treasure hunt going along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope? Yeah, it's been great. Can you tell me anything? Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind the treasure hunt with no set course of particular you must follow. Oh, excuse me. Simply go where your heart takes you and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of such pursuits, there has been something on my mind lately. If you could ask for your perspectives on the matter, I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard a word from whose meaning escapes me. I believe it is t it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does Chuji mean? Really chewy gumball? Ah, very chewy gumball. So it must, so it is some sort of confection that children are per, partial to recently. I shall have to try one of those Chugis for myself sometime. The word used by young people these days are quite often beyond my compre comprehension, but when I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel that, mu that much closer to my students. I'm most, I am most grateful to, to you for your help on that front. Came slightly closer to me with your Nothing. To back courtyard at night. Where do you want to go? Entrance hall. It said, "Meet me in the back courtyard at night." Am I too late for that? I. There's no way I'm too late. It says it's still happening. Oh, it's too late. There's no way to change it from my today. So I just ruined my chances? After I directed Clavel would say nothing. It was literally nighttime and I checked everywhere. 
They said back courtyard at night. It's in the school. What? This is confusing me. Badly. There's no back courtyard option. I know where that is though. There's a back courtyard somewhere in the school. Mm, I must have just missed it. Ugh. Cause now I'm gonna have to wait like something like an hour or something. Yeah, an hour and ten minutes. I'm gonna go here and see what there is. Cafeteria school store. Sales items for your adventures, biology, art room. Our EC room, room stuff is structurally clean, help, staff room, no, no, schoolyard! Dang it! That's where it was! I didn't see that before because I was rushing! Oh! Oh, it's still night! <laughs> it's with daytime B! Sophia. Yes, it's Penny! I, I, I knew it as soon as it was kind of like suspicious. Thanks for coming. And. Dramatic reveal. De -de 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 -de. I should have just looked thoroughly and then I would have found it, but good. I actually found it. Penny! Do 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 do. Heh, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Class Sophia, they were both me all along. Then I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time. The idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills. Let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operations started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all of the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But s still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I'm ready. Thanks. Okay, I should be ready. Clive! Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology Mrs. Time has, or, uh, I mean, pre pre preparations took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny? So it was you after... Oh, no, I mean, is that you, Clasophia? In the flesh, I'll t I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay, we will do. We found it! Yay! That took me so longer than expected. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star, the name's Class Sophia. No, Penny! Now bow down before the overruling might of Team Star's founder. No. <laughs> no. You get challenged by a uh, challenge by Penny of Team Star. I never really. I kind of knew already, but then I kind of was like, it's got it. Oh. The EV fluff bag. It's all the evolutions. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to the Team Star's code. Oh, I'll be on the dark type. So, uh, get Skeletor out of here. Oh, what are dark types we do? Um. Uh, oh, they have to be weak against at least. I know I'm going to use a dark type move and straight to one shot my Skeletor, so no siree, Bob. Dark Pulse. Thought so. Yeah, so no, sir. Uh, it's gotta be down some gleams that works here. Save it all eyes. Attack though. Get out of here, boy. Super effective. That's good. So I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Dark pulse. Not very effective. It's not it's like effective, but not that effective. And one more should finish him off. Not the dark pulse not finishing me off. Ooh! Dun 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 dun. dun. Thunder Punch. You know what? I'm not risking it. It's a dazzling lane. 
and I did. Oh, <laughs> done. <laughs> One health. So Omrion's done. Sylveon. Clarion. Oh, this is gonna be good. Halfin. I think I'm gonna have Halfin just dive. So then we're dodging damage as much as possible. So Halfin's in. Flareon. So it's gotta be all, all the evolutions. It has to be. Uh, dive. Uh, Halfin hit underwater. Flare Blitz. Miss. So I think this is gonna, we're gonna just do this for now. And I'll maybe come back after, like, I have a lot of stuff I have to do, like, some things I had to do today. So, oh, I should have just done another move. So, I will be back after this battle, and we'll finish everything up. Uh, Flare Blitz, missed. Baby Dolls, missed. And that should be it. Flareon, Leafeon, Victorian, and uh, Jolteon, they're all easy. Because I have uh, things that will one-shot them. Or close to it. Uh, Jolteon. Uh, Jolteon. You're meeting Gardenackle now. So, good timing. Gardenackle gets a level up. And now Gardenackle is uh, going out. Whew. Wait, wait, wait. Jolteon. Ah. Earthquake. Eight eyes. Attack fell. Uh, earthquake. Bonk. Half health already. Wow. Uh, so far we're thunder. Half health. One attack should put me at half. As well as for Jolteon. And Jolteon's done. Garganackle's still alive. Let's go. Victorion. Switch. Oh no, Ampharos. No! I gotta just straight up overpower her or even just try and want it. Just do want it. Corion? I will maybe use Lonix as a decoy. But I, I think I'm just gonna have Lonix go out and try and just throw chop the Corion. Uh, throw chop. Baby doll eyes. They all know baby doll eyes. I think that what they're trying to do is throw chop. Oh, that's not much. Uh, I should have done first impression. What about one? How much does the one just do? Baby doll eyes. It's not doing much because it's just like lowering my attack down. Okay, one just does a little attack bell. Oh, you gonna? Yeah, uh, this does. This also lowers it. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the same thing over and over again. Oh, now we're faster. Now you're here to feel the pain. Hydro pump. Oh no. Come on, Onyx. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to back. Onyx. Pokemon. Houndstone. Why don't we get Houndstone try? I Hydro pump literally almost knocked Onyx out. We have all of Pokemon health. So we can speak Corion. Aurora Beam? Okay. Play rough. Hydro Pump. Come on! Come on, Alshon! Yeah! He's a tough boy! So is that Victorian? Okay, I'm gonna Hyper Potion. 150. We're at 150. Yeah, we're at 150 now. The War Beam doesn't do much. So Houndstone is gonna do another play rough. Hydro Pump, I know Houndstone can last. Houndstone is the best here today, folks. I think I'm gonna have a Pokemon of the month every single time we do an episode or a Pokemon of the day. And uh, right now, I would say, leave y'all. Oh, you are in trouble, boys. I would say the Pokemon of the day is Houndstone. Lasting through two Hydro Pumps, both times. Clean out when he was lower on health before when he took the second one and still live. 
how to start with the Pokemon of the day. If you guys want to suggest another Pokemon, that should be a Pokemon of the day uh, or Pokemon of the year. Just, just put it in the comments because I definitely want to hear your suggestions. And Leafeon is almost down. I never actually admired the music, but the music's good. There we go. Yeah, let's keep this silly on. I can't. Uh, oh, I didn't know how to say that word, so I didn't know really. Fault of you? Fault? Fail you or something? Let's do this! Maybe this isn't her last Pokemon, or it is. Let's do this! Time to dress light. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be. It's still daytime, by the way, so it's weird that it works. But, oh, it's a fairy type. Great. So it's a fairy Terra. And we know how fairy Terras can do. Because I know how fairy Terras can just straight up wreck the floor with people. I know that because of my dash bun. Dash bunny. Mom. So it's a terrifier shadow ball. Oh, you trying to play tricky with me, are ya? I think I'm gonna keep torch songing until my power gets way up. So let's do this. So now we're at like plus three special attack or something, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're finishing this off with the signature move. My VV power will crush you into Stardust. VV, Moonblast, hang in there, Skeleturge. You have the power to hang in. Yes! You are going down, Penny. You are not going to win this. Why? And one last horse shot. Oh, shoot. I keep knocking things over. There you go. And finish. Okay. We did it. Level two, level 56s. Sorry, Penny, but I had to. It's all over now. Okay, I, I didn't know. I thought it was all over, but she said now as well so but Whew, we did it it's finally over guys it's done wait is this flashbacking wait we have another flashback i thought we were done with these man you're done here i think we should call it quits Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. You got carried away with Operation Star. Now everyone, everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous obsession twist a bloodless victory we assure you yeah they didn't even send out their pokemon they just blabbered and apologized a lot our outfits must have spooked them good but the boys made a huge stink about that when what went down and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired, especially there's no way you're getting out off scot-free. 
I guess you're right. This little uh, stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What? What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'm, I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you can't. Now that the boys are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why, there's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. <laughs> Big boss. Boss, baby. Why are you talking like we will never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Please speak to us. What is thine intent? Intent. Hey, Big Boss, answer us. And Penny was just right out the door? Bye bye guys, thanks for everything. She just left. What? Well that's a good flashback, now everything's clicking in my head. Thanks for everything B, and you too Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that Miss uh, Penny, I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you were the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still wouldn't quit. Didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I would never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do everything the code required of them. Even leave the team? Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus, the idea of Operation Starfall. Caspia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do you, your friends in the team mean to you? They're, they're my greatest treasure. Oh, well, splendid. Thank you for appraising me for the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I would very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quiet. It, it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Hiya! And we've already been through this. D Director Clavel? Just as Claspia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? And... I needed a way to talk to Team Star on, the e on equal terms. The students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Uh, yeah, but where do you I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have something big, some big feelings about the wig. Now, wig, ahem. Well, that's quite enough for that, for you, for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Do, 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 do. Huh? Voila! Yo, big boss. <laughs> Mo. Mo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, the only found out your real name just now. Melly. Ta-da! Verily is thy long hidden count contents the sight of sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. Um, so I heard your real name Fetty. How's you been this whole time? Or T or D. You found you found your you at last. You've no idea how worried Airy. Okay, I couldn't read that last bit. But family reunion. Okay, gang, on the count of three, 
three, two, one. Ask the Miss Star class to be in below Penny. Wow. Wow. This is uh, confusing. A little. But not really. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my and serious apologies. Come on, come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down my, down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't, I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your sub quote actions. Ever since my first day as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blending free from bullying uh, but I know now that this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and of course your immense courage in putting things to right and so I'll get straight to the conclusion the Academy's order of Team Star to disband and my threat of expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But, but, I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we even shook the team just because somebody told us to, after all, and our, and our style. Can't begin even begin to imagine how you must ever feared of us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. <laughs> we're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I'm. I've more to say. As presently started, the requirement of Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few ex examples. Your, you portray, Lucy, you brazen, brazen, customization of school uniforms. Your unauthorized usage of academy qui equipment. Your reckless. Modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon power vehicles. Need I go on? My fragrant discard of school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Oof. They all thought they were out for good, but nope. Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to arrange in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I. We'll be asking you to manage the STCs, and that stands for Star Training Centers. They shall be faculties in, of clavating Pokemon trainers, talents I plan for the Academy to found uh, them in celebration, uh, celebration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master be battling his way through your bases. The bases construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth at STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no, it sounds like fun, so I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you, you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our side, my lady. Uh, we can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were really already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star in school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys, 
B, what do you think? I think it sounds great. Uh, B, but, um, I just... No need to give your responses right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least I think for a little group should do their separate ways. Ah. Uh, not to say you should break up, Team Star. After all, I simply met it just time to leave. Master B, please stop by my office later, if you would. Go to Director Clavel's office. I'm so... I actually have to go off, but we'll see what Director Clavel has to say in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.